I made a video the other day using this picture and a few more like it. And I said, remember, there's no such thing as an assault rifle. Nobody can tell you what an assault rifle is. And anybody who uses the term assault rifle does not know what they are talking about. Well, of course, somebody commented on it and said, cool, you showed some magazines. Now to find a assault rifle. I just put a laughing emoji because, I mean, he said, yeah, it's hilarious. All you lefties want to ban assault weapons and none of y'all can even define what it is. And I was like, hold, the quote, young Jeezy, hold up, wait one motherfucking minute. When have I ever said anything about banning anything? Can you point me to where I said that? Because I own everything you say I want to ban. That always throws people for a loop. They always just assume that I want to ban something. And I have never said anything even close to that. And it's almost like I can, when I say that I don't support bans, you, it's like I can almost hear their teeth grinding through my phone. So he asked what I thought should be done to curb this problem. I said, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't really have an answer. I just know that change is needed. And then he went to the Second Amendment self-pleasures, second most common argument. Oh, so you don't know how to fix this? Then you should just shut up. You should not make videos about things you know absolutely nothing about. So if I don't know how to fix something, I should just shut up about it. So like, if, if my AC ain't working during the summertime, I don't know how to fix that. I, but I should just I should just sweat it out. It's just weird. The same people who say if you don't know how to fix something, if you can't fix something, you should just shut up about it. The same ones who bitch and moan and cry about their First Amendment rights being taken away. Like I said, I have never in one minute said that I was for banning anything, that I was ever for disarming citizens because that would mean I would be punishing myself. And, I mean, and plus, banning something, what the hell are you going to ban? If you're just banning the weapon, I mean, you're just going to ban a 5.56 five, or a 223? I mean, that, that what? Although sometimes I think, what if Biden was able to get a new assault weapons ban passed? And they said, you can keep everything you already got, but no new ones will be made. Can you imagine how much money those gun companies will make. I mean, I bet every single CEO will be able to buy a new yacht. Like I said, I think a ban is just way past the point. And also, we are to the point now to where anything to these sons of bitches is infringement. The president could come out and say, absolutely nothing is changing. There will be zero changes to anything except every gun. We want every weapon to have a half-inch smiley face sticker on the barrel. And all these people will be screaming, shall not be infringed. It's just that people are so weird because they just assume that I want to ban shit. And my, I'm from Alabama. I don't, nah, I don't want to ban shit. But then they say, when they find out that I don't want to ban anything, when, then they say, well, what's your solution? And since I don't have a solution that would completely get rid of the problem, then they say, you should just shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, because there is no one solution that would completely get rid of the problem. I mean, this is a situation that's hairier than a orgy in 1983. You know, I don't support bans and I'm willing to listen to solutions. I'm willing to listen to ideas and I might support it and I might not support it. And then you got these amosexuals saying, well, we already got 14 million gun laws on the books. Why don't we enforce those instead? Cool. Let's start with that. 